let's read some avocado leaves. So here's a, a little, um, this is a, just a seedling avocado tree. And it's got a lot of different leaves with different things going on. So um, one thing you can see is that the new growth of an avocado tree is always somewhat reddish. These new leaves are exceptionally red or bronze or purple. They, they aren't always quite that red. <clears throat> but um, if, you, if you look at the trees as, at the leaves as they age, they get greener and they usually become more of a, a kind of pale green. And then as they get older, they become a, a deeper green like this one. And they stay that way uh, for a while. It depends on the health of the tree and such, but it, it might it might stay that way for about a year. And then ultimately, uh, the leaves don't last forever. When they get <clears throat> old, they die a natural death and they start to yellow. Uh, something like this. And eventually, the leaf will drop what's also going what's also going on on this leaf is all of those little spots are actually from cold damage so uh, they, it looks similar to mite damage but it's not one one way you can tell is that there's no webbing and if you get a hand lens, you'd be able to see the, the mites, usually on the underside of the leaf. It's not mites, it's just from a cold night. Let's look at a few other trees to see some other types of avocado leaves. Here's a fuerte tree, and you can see on the fuerte, the new leaves are um, not quite as red as that first tree. And then uh, the immature leaves are more of a lime green here. And then these leaves are some uh, dying sene senescent leaves. You see the veins are yellowing. And pretty soon these are going to drop. In fact, often these leaves, if you just kind of push them, they'll fall off. But also the brown tips here. Um, that's, that's just from a, an accumulation of, of salts in the irrigation water. Here's some more brown tips. Not a big deal if you have little brown tips like that, but that's, uh, that's salt damage, usually chloride, when it accumulates in the tips like that. Also, you might see this time of year, so this is uh, early, mid-May. And what you'll find with most trees is when they're blooming, as this tree is blooming, you'll find that a lot of leaves fall. So you look at the bottom of your tree, and it's just got leaves falling all over the place, and it can be scary. Um, but it's natural. That's just what happens in the spring. The tree blooms, it puts on new leaves, and old leaves fall. This is a, an avocado tree called Nimlio, and you see the edges, the margins of these leaves, how they're wavy? It's just the way some varieties are. It's nothing, it's no problem, it's nothing strange, it's just the variety. It has uh, wavy edges to the leaves. Other varieties that are like that are um, Pinkerton and Surprise can have that wavy leaf margin. It's not a problem, it's not a big deal. Especially this time of year in uh, May, you'll find a lot of leaves that look like this chewed up, especially the new leaves. Insects seem to love chewing the new leaves. Uh, who is it? What is it? Um, as I, I think I've done this in other videos, but um, go out at night, that's usually the best time to find the, the critter that's chewing your leaves. But oftentimes it's June bugs. Sometimes it's grasshoppers. 
earwigs, it can be a number of things. Another natural characteristic of some avocado varieties is that their leaves are just taco shaped. Uh, lamb does this. Uh, this tree is a holiday and holiday does this as well. The, the leaves just naturally curl up like that. That's their natural shape, kind of like a taco shell. It's nothing to worry about. It's just the natural shape of their leaves. Um, on the other hand, like um, if a leaf, an avocado leaf, is doing, let's say, the opposite, then it means it's thirsty. Let me uh, show you a, a pretend example. So these are leaves on a Hass tree. And normally they're, um, they're flatter. They're not taco shaped, but, they, but they're upright. They're perky. You know, they, they, they don't generally sag or wilt or droop down. I'm talking about the individual leaves. So if a tree is um, well hydrated, this is what their leaves look like. On the other hand, if you ever see avocado leaves that look like this, they're kind of bent at the middle and the tips are sagging like that. That's an indicator of thirst. That's what the leaves of an avocado tree will do if it's thirsty. So um, give it water immediately if you see that. I'm not talking about whether the leaves just just um, sort of grow downward. I'm talking about whether an individual leaf bends and droops down like that. That's an indicator of thirst. So that's how to read some <laughs> symptoms of avocado leaves.